Okay, we're back on the beach. What happens? And then again, and there's Mumbo. Third boy. Yep, I did. Masked Vision! <laughs> okay, let's see. What are these secrets? And this will enter us in the bonuses. <laughs> okay. This is the first secret. But yeah, like I said, normally this uh, stuff. This rock is not risen up. Instead, you see. Uh, So yeah, these are things you will see um in um the bonuses uh, episode. You get to see a giant egg on top of the shark um, shark tail island. Or is it shark two? I don't remember. There's a secret one, another secret in Wozo's cave. Giant Ice Key. This is another secret that we will have to find. Well, I already got them because once you get them once on the, um, on the game card, you actually have them forever. So yeah, that's uh, that's the the thing about now. I I got them in the. I got them in my perfect run, my, my, my other perfect game that I played before. So yeah, the, I will show the locations. I won't show how to open the locations. But yeah, um, those are basically stop and swap. So yeah, they're telling us that the they will, the stop and swap will be used in Banjo Tooie, which is the case. Uh, everything you see that I will show in this bonus episode will be uh, in Banjo Tooie, like the eggs and the ice key. Uh, that will all be in Banjo Tooie. Hello, everyone. As we're back, this is Rugnet. We're. Uh, I tried to do the silly thing uh, there, but whatever, it didn't happen. Um, today we will move around a lot. 
as I will show the locations of um, of the secret eggs and the stop and swap. So, um, yeah, my plan is to just plainly go where stuff happens and go at the exact locations of the eggs like we saw in uh, Mumbo's secret images three of them seven locations and I showed while playing uh, casually through the game I showed uh, pretty much all of those locations basically you could hear them um, while I was there, there was a special fanfare that was going on, and yeah. So the first one is the pink one, and out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes. Yes. Ah, poetry. So yeah, I won't tell you how to get them. Uh, basically, everything can be gone in the cheap room of this uh, place uh, and castle floor but uh, I won't really spill the beans as for codes you must enter and how you must enter them so yeah in this bonus episode I will just plainly get to the locations and show what could have been gotten there so yeah there would have been a pink egg had to uh, collect it. Okay, so now that is out of the way. Let's go somewhere else, shall we? All right. So I will move out of this world to go to world fail and to fall in the water. So yeah, that's pretty cool to have to uh, move um, out of this place and things. And yeah, I I'd like to talk about the stop and swap because. This is a mystery that's not resolved and getting those items doesn't seem to bring anything to uh, the people who get them. So actually this is a very big mystery that's not solved. There are actually three possibilities. Either there's nothing to find out about those and you just plainly get them as extras uh, previewing the next game or something like that. Or uh, it was removed from the beta or something like that and um, nothing happens in regarding to this version of the game or that exists but it hasn't been uh, revealed yet how to get those items to work with anything in this game so yeah that's pretty interesting of a mystery um, to solve and um, Yeah, there, there's a lot of things uh, that can be found at, at some other places. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at a page right now and I didn't know about that. Is it with the game shark? Seems that in Banjo 2 we you have in the silos in the main hub uh, you have a possibility to go at the location that's called Ridiculously Secret Area 1. 
Now you can see a nice size key which you can have for free. Well, it doesn't seem that I already found this, but whatever. So yeah, there are lots of reference be be uh, between the two games, and that makes us believe that that may uh, be related to the stop and swap. So there you have seen it, it would have been the ice key. By the way, in new totals, if you go over to the far right, you can see which ones you got. Yeah, like now I showed the pink egg and the ice key. So yeah, that's pretty strange, uh, and that's a fairly interesting uh, touch by Rare there. Yeah, there are lots of rumors about this game. Read around and things, but none has been confirmed yet. And there's a mumble token there. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. So, we're getting out of this place. Yeah, there are lots of links that I will do, but I, I'm not the expert uh, of this game yet. I, I, I don't know everything that could I couldn't know about this game, you know. I, I didn't uh, realize how complex it was to uh, <laughs> to analyze every detail of this game compared to the other game, and also um, either the shapes or the the the, the decorations that had sense. That, that, that makes sense uh, comparison to something else or something like that you know I will show you something else in uh, la later in this episode you you won't believe it so next one we've seen it also in um, uh, Mr. Mumbo's images if you run to it There's a magic carpet over there. Let's go around it. And there a desert door opens wide. Ancient secrets wait inside. I love that poetry, this is so awesome. So you've seen it. It would have been the blue egg, but obviously I already got it, so. And actually I love that stop and soap music. That that varies from a place to another, but it's always the same melody of course. Also I don't know why I got those Okay, so let's move. Yeah, I, I will remain mysterious about it all because... Because yeah, the, this is meant to be mysterious. I, I mean, there's not... <laughs> bigger mystery than the stop and swap in Banjo Kazooie and in video gaming relating to uh, to rare actually and I think in in every uh, mill in every uh, video game ever known I don't think there's any other bigger mysteries than this one so yeah that is all the the way Now let's see. And you can read a lot of pages on the internet about it, um, about the stop and swope. 
There's a lot of mysteries I, I just can't describe. Yup. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. The, this, I, I'm truly uh, amazed by this puzzle. I, I'm reading about it while playing, and uh, yeah, this. I don't know why Nintendo hasn't published anything about this, or even Rare. That's more um, revealing to to things, considering the fact that this has been left this way and unsold for like nine years this is yeah ridiculous next secrets we have yet uh, four to find um, the next secret uh, let's get it right away I think it's up there I, I'm <laughs> I'm saying right let's get it but <laughs> of course I've already got it but whatever okay I think it's over there um oh yeah 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 among uh, I meant the haunted loom in the bathroom. So the, the green egg would have been right there when I'm standing. Yeah, I know that's disgusting, but whatever. Amidst the haunted loom, a secret in the bathroom. The other one in this world is actually not far away. It's down there. It's the light blue one. But hey, don't you go there and tell her. Hey, there's a ghost there. Hey guys, don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. That's important. You would have been there. Yep. The cyan or the light blue or the teal, whatever colored egg would be there. We're done with this world. Let's get out. We're being creeped out. <laughs> oh yeah, even if Nintendo Power's uh, player guide that I got right here beside me that I'm reading right now, there's absolutely no word about this. That was weird. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I remain, I remain silent about it. This is, this is just too mysterious. I'm amazed by how big this mystery has gotten, and how people are trying to find explanations about this too. Yeah, this this is a uh, we're being uh, we're in presence of an incredible uh, puzzle that has no solutions yet and uh, is not meant to have one. Perhaps, maybe we're not sure. But for next. Let's go in this world. This world I hate so much. And what's funny about it is that I don't remember at all where to go. Definitely not there.
Let's try to find it, shall we? Is it there? That's what I wanted to show you. Look at this. It'd be easier if I kill those two guys. Look at this. Does it remind you something? If I tell you we start right here. Does it remind you of Treasure Trove Cove? And look at the X. The X is positioned right where was that giant rock. Now, isn't that strange? That, that... That really um, opens up a lot of suspicions about what was intended and what not or something like that. And this is truly incredible that they, they they took the time to put that there. This is incredible to me. Now, this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. Normally it's on the bed, I think. And it's the red uh, egg. Or is it in... Yeah, normally maybe it's there or... I don't know. It's somewhere around here. It's not in the secret room. But yeah, this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin. That would be the red egg. Now I got one left to show you and it's in um, the clockwood and I don't want to show it to you because I don't want to get there and to go overboard with the... Um, the time limit and well not limit but with my personal time and things but uh, it would be the, the yellow egg and now Banjo will be able to see it on Nabnut's table that's all I gotta say for this one and you gotta go in winter in Nabnut's house but it's pretty recent in my LP so I figured you remember about it if not, well, refer to that episode. So this is right at closing it up for bonus episode 1. And tell me what you think about all that Stop and Swope uh, saga. This is really intriguing me. So until next time, another bonus. I think I have two more bonuses to, um, to uh, cover. I hope I will be able to, yeah, to uh, come to uh, the, this point. So this is Riot Sign out, like I said, and yeah, see you soon for other things about the Stop and Swope. Oh man, <laughs> let's end on that screen. <laughs> so mysterious. <laughs>